Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I promised a part two last week on Sandbox and I'm going to be exploring this for the first time. So you'll be seeing me exploring and creating a Sandbox from Padlet. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about Sandbox on Padlet, then please keep on watching. Okay, so let me just move myself out of the way. I'm going to make myself just a little bit smaller so I'm not in the way. When you go onto your Padlet dashboard now, you can see that there's Sandbox Beta and you can see examples, but I'm actually going to create a Sandbox this week. So let's just go to making our own Sandbox and we're just going to play around with some of the functionalities. Now, this is my first time to play on it. So you're going to be seeing me exploring and trying things that maybe don't work. I think the first thing that I want to do is change the name of this. And I normally go into settings. That's right. And I'm going to call this, um, let's call it concept base math. Okay. And then let's just put a hyphen there. I can change my wallpaper, of course. So let's do that. I like to have a custom wallpaper. It's going to search here. I like light bulbs because it's so wonderful when we're, we actually see light bulbs in our students or and light bulbs come on for educators when they really get something or there's a bit of an epiphany. So let's have a look at some of these light bulbs. I'm going to choose this one. Okay. So I like to have the light bulb in the back and I can see that it's a background more than anything. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So now we can see it's kind of in the background. Now I haven't played with these yet. So this is interact. This is a pointer. This is draw. These are to highlight, these are to erase, and, and you can see these are the rectangles. I'm going to play around like different shapes. And then you can see these are the post-it notes. And this is what I loved about Jamboard. I used Jamboard a lot during COVID because it was just such a beautiful collaboration tool and really visual. You can probably have the same effect on a normal Padlet. I'm so glad that Padlet has released Sandbox so that we can do this. So I'm just going to, let's say I'm going to do a green one. I wonder how I actually add it. Oh, there we go. So I add one there. Now, what's this one here? This is text. Okay. And then this is if you want an attachment or a link. Okay. All right. So let's just add a few different notes here. Uh, I'm going to add this one. And then I think you just press the plus sign. And then if you click on it, you can start typing. So maybe it will be my shift in thinking. Okay. And then you ask participants to do that. I love this. And I just noticed when you click on this, I can actually change the color uh, of each individual one. So let's say I'm the facilitator and somebody has put their post-it note. I might say, can you post, can you color your post green if you would like to share with the group? So we don't want to be calling people out randomly because I don't want people to feel anxious in a professional learning environment. So one of the strategies I use is, you know, post your color green if you want to share with the group. And you can ask people to change the color. Now there's a little hand here. Oh, which means you can like duplicate these really easily. So let's duplicate that. Good. So you might have a few and then you ask people to post in or they can actually add their own. So let's, oh, this is draw, oh, this is draw or in a highlight. Okay. So I'm on highlight at the moment. Let's try and highlight here. Oh, look at that. It highlights beautifully. This was draw, I think. So um, here, I might have to draw some things, excuse my squiggles, but I want to erase that. So let's just erase that. Yeah, I don't want that there. Um, the text, of course, again, and I'm not sure about the interact, what that is. So I'll keep exploring and try and find out what that is. Actually, we don't actually have to go back to this menu because if there's, when there's a little hand, we can keep duplicating. Wow. I love this. And see, we can here add a new canvas. So you can have this lovely screen here so that you can see all your different canvases and toggle between the two. I'm just going to come up here and oh, disable alignment snapping. Okay. So if I press that, it must be, oh, I see. Maybe it doesn't align. Let's press back, that back again. And Oh, I see there's a bit of an alignment snapping. You can see the red lines coming up, right? And we got present mode as usual, um, the pointer, attachments. And then if we go into this menu, it's the same as other ones. 
Wow, I just love this. And before, I used to have Google Jam boards for different functionalities and a Padlet wall, but now I just have to go to Padlet and I can create all of these. Thank you, Padlet. I want to stress I'm not sponsored by Padlet. I've just been using it for a very long time. For me, it's about ease of use. It's about the beautiful visuals as a collaborative tool that everybody can go on and be able to brainstorm or share ideas. So once again, thank you, Padlet. Thank you so much for joining me this week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.